Hello guys. In this video we are going to discuss about the Ipso substitution reaction. So before we go into the detailed mechanism and examples of Ipso substitution reactions, let us first understand what is the Ipso position in a substituted benzene ring. So as we all know these three positions are known as ortho, meta and para positions. But what about this position? This position is actually known as the Ipso position. So when a substitution reaction takes place in this particular Ipso position, that substitution reaction is known as Ipso substitution reaction. So this is a special type of electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. So what is the difference between the intermediates or rather the carbocations involved in different types of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions? That is when what will be the intermediate when ortho substitution taking place or meta or para substitution takes place. So for that we need to draw the different intermediates for this particular derivative of benzene. So if ortho substitution takes place in this particular benzene derivative then the electrophile which is E will be attached with this ortho carbon atom and the positive charge must be generated on this if so position. In case of meta substitution the electrophile will be attached with this meta carbon atom and the positive charge will be generated over the para position. In case of para substitution reaction, the electrophile will be attached with this para carbon atom and the positive charge will be over meta carbon atom. And in case of ipso substitution reaction, which is our case, the electrophile will be directly attached with this carbon atom, ipso carbon atom, which is also directly attached with the Y. So the positive charge must be over the ortho carbon atom. So these four are, as you can see, these four are totally different carbocations involved in four different types of substitution, electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. So as we all know, these carbocations will be stabilized through resonance or conjugation. So now let us understand the mechanism of ipso substitution reaction. So if we draw the benzene derivative, then in presence of the electrophile which is E+, plus, the benzene pi electron cloud will definitely attack this E+, plus, and thereby producing this particular carbocation which is also known as the sigma complex. So if we draw the p orbital of this carbocationic center, then it will look like this. This newly formed carbon, carbon E bond is uh, shown here, and thereby this previously sp2 hybridized center will be now changed into sp3 hybridized center and this carbocationic center will be of course sp2 hybridized. If we further draw the hybrid orbitals of this carbon Y and carbon E bonds, so as you can see these are the two bonding orbitals or bonding molecular orbitals for this carbon Y bond and carbon E bond. And these two bonds are basically stabilizing this carb uh, vacant P orbital of this carbocationic center like uh, hyperconjugation like interactions via hyperconjugation like interactions so as you can see this particular region of this bonding orbital and this p orbital lobe are of same phase and thereby they will undergo an interaction stabilizing interaction in this in this uh, case also this region of this carbon e bonding orbital and this lobe of the p orbital are of same phase and thereby they will undergo another stabilizing interaction and uh, thereby the overall energy of this carbocationic species will be much lower. Additionally, there is resonance stabilization also present in this case. So now, if we uh, consider this intermediate like as it is drawn here, so the next step of the reaction will be definitely the elimination or leaving of this Y group as Y plus from this carbocationic intermediate or the sigma complex. And this will be achieved uh, when these two bonding electrons of this carbon Y bond will form a double bond like uh, this as uh, it is shown here like this carbo arrow notation. And then we will get our desired substituted product. And the substitution is obviously in the Ipso position. So this is the overall mechanism of the Ipso substitution reaction. So uh, now let us consider some examples of ipso substitution reactions and remind this in each case the mechanism will be exactly similar as we have just discussed here right okay 
So the first example is the uh, treatment when this uh, trimethylsilyl benzene it is treated with molecular bromine, then bromodesilylation takes place. So this bromine is uh, attacking this ipsop carbon atom and thereby replacing this trimethylsilyl group and thereby uh, causing a ipsop substitution reaction. Another example is the protodesilylation reaction when this trimethylsilyl benzene uh, uh, trimethylsilyl benzene compound is uh, additionally functionalized with one OH group in the power 4 position then via treatment with H plus this SIME3 group can be substituted by H plus and obviously this is an ipso substitution reaction and this uh, process is actually called the proto desilylation another very interesting example is proto desulfonylation reaction so if we treat this benzene sulfonic acid with H plus in heating condition this SO3 H group will be replaced by this hydrogen atom and we will get benzene derivative we will get the pure benzene molecule so in the next example is a nitro dealkylation reaction so here you can see this benzene ring is containing two isopropyl group para with respect to each other so if we treat this with no2 plus bf4 minus salt this nitro this nitronium uh, ion is actually uh, acting as a electrophile in this case and it will cause if so substitution in either this position or this position so it will cause nitro dealkylation so this iso one of these two isopropyl group will be replaced by no2 interestingly this particular reaction follows two competitive pathways one is the ipso substitution reaction another is the ortho substitution ortho electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction so as you can see both are the both products are formed in almost equal amounts Another very interesting nitro dealkylation reaction is when uh, a benzene molecule is uh, attached with 3 tertiary butyl group and if we treat it with NO2 plus BA4 minus salt then again nitro dealkylation takes place and in this case one tertiary butyl group will be replaced by NO2. Another very interesting example is when this particular compound will be treated with nitric acid in presence of acetic anhydride nitro dehalogenation will take place that is the halogen will be replaced by NO2 so this is the nitro dehalogenation reaction and the last example is bromo dealkylation reaction so here this alkyl group is uh, replaced by bromine that's why the bromo dealkylation term is applied and as you can see this uh, two tertiary butyl group will be replaced by two bromine atoms two bromine atoms and CCL4 carbon tetrachloride is basically acting as the solvent in this case so these are the interesting examples of ipso substitution reaction so thanks for watching this video see you in the next videos